Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. This is Maria Martinez hosting our call today on Monday, March 26th, and I'm looking forward to releasing, breaking through, um, bringing in abundance and letting go of old stories, old patterns, and moving into the space of freedom and joy, the space of manifestation, the space of flow. So as everybody's coming into the call, why don't we begin by breathing in, releasing slowly, allowing yourself to become really present, allowing yourself to come together into the space, creating sacred space, allowing yourself to release and bring up to the surface that which is ready to be let go, that which is ready to be transmuted. Breathe in, breathe out, allowing yourself to become very present in your body, allowing yourself to be very present in this energy, allowing yourself to release and let go of any worries, any concerns, any have-tos. any responsibilities, any commitments, any obligations that are weighing on you, that seem to be taken away from you, that seem to be overwhelming, frustrating, keeping you stuck or stagnant. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Very good. Take a few more deep breaths here and think about what it is for yourself that you're ready to let go of, what's been in your way financially. What are those things from your past from your past experiences that you feel are still blocking you, that are not allowing you to step into creating the type of wealth, the type of abundance, the type of money that you deserve. Take a few moments here as you connect to that and tune into that. Continue to breathe and let go. Breathe and release. Typically, the way these calls go, we connect to the energy of our flow, our divine energy. And then I begin moving into reading the energy of the group and the limiting beliefs, the patterns, the stories that are there. We get through all of that and we close. But today I'm being guided to open up the line. And you don't have to say your name. um, But what I'd like to have you just state one word that encompasses whatever it is that you want to release. Let's say it's divorce. So you can yell out divorce, uh, failed business, or a failed career, or a job loss, or uh, whatever it is, debt. So just, again, if you want to say your name, you can. Uh, If you don't want to say your name, that's fine too. But go ahead and release that into the universe. So give me one second. 
Okay, so now you're all on mute. Just go ahead and blur out what it is. Divorce, uh, bankruptcy, foreclosure, financial failure in business, in career, in bad investment. State it out to the world. Lack Give it up to the universe. Scarcity. Bankruptcy. Let it go, yes. Send it up to the universe. And what we're doing here is we're really embracing that part of us, that part of us that we don't want to look at. Keep going, keep going. That part of us that, that it's been in our way, that part of us that we've been hiding or uh, that part of us that we've been suppressing, the part of us that we did not want to talk about face. So we want to bring that part Worry of us about to the surface name. and look at that part of us and embrace it. And know that that's part of who we are. And and it was part of our experience. It's part of our lessons. It's part of us breaking through. It's part of us knowing that we're more. It's part of us knowing that we deserve more. And in order to know that is bringing love to that part of us that we want to pretend it's not there, that we don't want to deal with, or that we believe we've dealt with it enough. But it's still showing up in our life. Okay, take a deep breath. Throw it out there. Anything else that you want to throw out there? Bad investment. Yes. Yes. Suffering. Sacrifice. Servitude. Lack of value. Not valuing ourselves. Not not standing up for our self-worth and our worth. Anything else? Anything else? Just throw it out there. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. And what you're saying is, thank you, universe. This is what's been in my way. I don't need it anymore. I don't want it anymore. Here you go. I'm looking at it in the face. I'm no longer feeling shame. I'm no longer feeling guilt. I know what it is, and I surrender it to you. Here you go. Continue to breathe. Continue to breathe and release anything else that you want to let go. Very good. Okay, so let's move into the space. I'm going to go ahead and and switch to lecture. So you will all be un, uh, you will be muted, and then I'll switch back to Q and A later. Continue to breathe. Continue to let go. Continue to bring light to all those areas where we felt shame. We felt not enough. We felt unworthy. We felt undeserving. We felt fault or blame. Continue to bring light and love. And as we continue to fill all those spaces with light and love, we continue to expand into our true self, the oneness of who we are. Take a deep breath. Exhale, and with each exhale, allow your energy to expand into more, into the wholeness of who you are, into your divinity, into your true self. Breathe. Exhale, letting go. Becoming very honest with yourself, very transparent with yourself. And as you're becoming more and more vulnerable with yourself, you're bringing in more and more compassion, feeling the spaces where you're held, blame, anger, frustration, where you created self-sabotage. We're bringing compassion and kindness to those areas. As you continue to breathe into the space, allow your spirit, your soul, to expand bigger than your body, to expand, to connect to the oneness of all, Light, love, pure consciousness, divinity, 
to connect to the divine creator, to the God of your understanding, universe source. Allow yourself to connect and feel your connection to the one, the one love, one light, pure consciousness, pure divine perfection. And recognize who you are in this moment as you're surrounded by beautiful light beings, by your soul family, your star family. See yourself in this space of oneness, of radiance, of brilliance. See yourself connected to your true self, your true essence, the God spark within, that light within, that beautiful light within that is all-knowing, that has wisdom of a thousand years, thousands of thousand years, that part of you that already knows, the part of you that is waiting to bring more into your life, more of what you deserve, the part of you that is waiting for you, for you to surrender, for you to trust, for you to accept who you are, your wholeness, to accept yourself for who you are, that beautiful part of you that chose this beautiful body, this vessel, this temple, to have this human experience. Take a deep breath. Exhale. As you become one with, one with God, universe, source, one with your higher self, one with the God spark within, one with the light within, one with all energy all around you, connecting to the highest vibrations, the highest lights the highest consciousness. See yourself surrounded by your team, your God team, your guides, your angels, your masters, your ancestors. See yourself supported by your God team, by the universe, by source, by God, the God of your understanding. See yourself in this space where all is possible, pure potential. And from this space, accept your divine gift. Accept that you are divinity. Embrace, allow, Surrender into, I am, I am, I am, I am love, I am light, I am joy, I am happiness, I am health, I am vitality, I am wealth, I am prosperity, I am abundance. I am all frequencies. I am all energy. Everything already exists within me. As I am part of the universe, the universe is within me. I am one with it all. There is nothing that I need to do to get it, feel worthy of it, or deserve it. It's already within me. I've forgotten as I was living solely in this body, driven by the belief system 
of society and humanity. I have forgotten who I was, and I'm beginning to remember that I am abundant. I am wealth. I am money. As money is energy that exists within me, that I am magnetic, that I can attract whatever it is that I desire by becoming that frequency, that vibration. Love attracts more love and loving things into my life, including money, wealth, and prosperity. A deep breath here. So here I can feel the resistance for many of you in accepting I am well, I am prosperity. So let's move into clearing all those blocks that are keeping you from knowing that you are. Stepping into your I am present, that is, all frequencies in all directions, in all times, past, present, and future. Take a deep breath. Release it all. Okay, so let's start with, feels like we're going to start with debt. So anywhere and everywhere you're holding debt, the energy of debt, I owe somebody something. I owe money. I am indebted. Somebody else has ownership over me, over my wealth, over my assets, over my time. Bringing it to lead and create a straight across the time and space and reality. Anywhere and everywhere you feel heavy when it comes to debt. Anywhere and everywhere you feel heavy, stuck, frustrated, stagnant when it comes to how much debt you have. Bring the delete and create industry there, cut the time limits in space and reality. Anywhere and everywhere uh, you moved into that is the way to be. I don't deserve to have wealth. That is the only way I can function. I don't deserve having more, therefore I have to go into debt. Bring the delete and create industry there, cut the time limits in space and reality. And this is debt, personal debt. This is debt in business. Uh, any other type of debt credit card, consumer debt, um, business debt. We're going to bring all of the emotions, the blocks around debt. Anything that anchors you down and and keeps you locked into barely surviving, relying on borrowing from others or organizations, in order to survive, surrendering, feeling that you're giving up ownership of who you are as you hold on to the debt. Or anything that, any belief that said debt is okay, borrowing other people's money, creating a cycle of debt where you can't get out of it. We're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. Delete and create. So we're going to let go of feeling angry about debt, feeling shame about debt, feeling resentful about debt, uh, feeling uh, anything around fault and shame around debt. So what's coming up is I have debt and I have too much debt and I'm embarrassed about my debt and because if uh, I feel like I'm not able to create enough and if I'm not able to create enough, then I'm not enough. I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not resourceful enough, I'm not intellectual enough, I'm not a good X, and fill in the X with whatever career you're in. You're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. And the other thing that is coming up with debt is victimization. I am a victim of debt, the credit card companies, the department stores, everybody that... I owe money to, that I'm indebted to, I am a victim to them. And in reality, of course, you're not. This is the choice that you made. And even if at the time it was necessary, then we wouldn't be in acceptance with, 
I am so grateful for that this credit card came into my life at the time that I needed it so that I could pay whatever I needed to pay at that time. And that was a sign of the universe uh, hearing me. What I was confused about is how to ask for money. So if money shows up in the form of debt, maybe I should be asking, bring me money that is not attached to being indebted, that money that I don't have to pay back. Bring me more of money that I can keep and I can build on without having to give it back to anybody or any other organization. Money that is mine just because I am. We're going to do and create, 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 victimization, do and create, being victimized, do and create, anything around those credit card companies. And then anything anything around not paying them because you feel victimized, not paying them because you felt um, they had enough money to live and create, to live and create, to live and create. So we're going to shift all of that to gratitude. And as we shift all of that to gratitude, when we do that, you attract more money than money that you don't have to pay back, a winnings, gifts, um, money that you didn't expect from mysterious, supernatural sources, and that's what we really want. So to lean and create, 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 to lean and create anything around, I feel stuck, I feel like I can never get ahead, I feel like I'm paying so much, and I never have enough for myself, never have enough money to put away, the credit card companies are the ones that are getting rich, we're going to lean and create, to lean and create, to lean and create, to lean and create, and move into I am so grateful that I have this option. I am so grateful that this came into my life. I am so grateful to all those credit card companies or or everybody that was willing to finance me. I am so grateful that I now have what I have. And even though it's not ideal at this moment in time, I am grateful for it. Because now, as I know that I can manifest more of what I want and more of what is ideal for me and more of what's in alignment with me, I can ask for money to show up in my life differently. I can ask money that is free, money that is a blessing, money that is overflowing, money that is loving and kind to me, that is here to support me, my purpose, my passion, my career, my life, my lifestyle. Money that is for me as a gift from God, gift from the universe, gift from source. Taking a deep breath here. We're going to move into bankruptcy and then divorce. Those are the next two energies that are coming up. So anything around, I couldn't handle it. I was overwhelmed. All of a sudden, there was so much I didn't have enough or I had to. I had to um, file bankruptcy uh, and that had to came with shame, guilt, resentment, unworthiness, not enough. I wasn't good enough to keep things going. I lost everything I had, so I feel bad, sorry. I feel unworthy. I feel uh, shameful. I feel I don't deserve anything more. I feel like this is a black mark. So I'm seeing bankruptcy as a, a big, uh, it actually, it doesn't feel like a blanket. It feels like this big black cloud following you around. We're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. Moving into gratitude, I am so grateful that there is an option like bankruptcy where I can start over. Yeah, I am so grateful that this exists, that I can start over and that I've learned from this point forward to manage manage my finances, manage my resources, and to honor those that are willing to invest in me by lending me money. 
So we're going to let go and let go and let go and let go and release that black cloud around bankruptcy. So let it create, 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 let it create. So let it create anything around. So I'm getting a couple of things. I didn't want to do it, but I had no choice. But it's not in my character to do something like that. I don't feel integrity. Uh, and then there's another part, another belief system that is coming up as even though this exists for these situations when we are somehow cannot manage with our expenses or finances, I don't feel good about it. I feel like I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating someone. I feel like I'm cheating the system. So we're going to delete and create you being responsible for everybody else. You're only responsible for yourself. And everyone else that invested in you, they were willing and able and decided to take that chance because there was a benefit to them as well. And they also knew there was a risk. And they willingly chose to do that, especially if it's business. So we're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, feeling like you cheated somebody, feeling like, oh, so now I'm getting somebody cheating me. I was cheated. Okay, delete and create, delete. I was forced into bankruptcy. And then I'm getting a couple of things, uh, lawsuits, divorce. Um, some. Uh, it feels like um, a business being taken from you. Uh, so either a partnership or being bought out but you getting the short end or less than what you expected. So feeling like you were left in ruins. So we're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. Delete and create all of that energy around bankruptcy, the stigma, the shame, the guilt, the resentment, the blame, the fault, the anger, the black cloud, feeling like now there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong. There's something in your past that has stamped you uh, like the scarlet letter. We're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. So let and create all of that energy across the time, dimension, space, and reality. And as we uncreate this energy for you, we're also uncreating this belief system for generations from here forward. And we, as we complete this section in divorce, um, let's see if there's something else coming up that wants to get clear now. If not, we'll go back and clear your past as well, your contracts. Okay, anything else around bankruptcy? So I'm also getting victimization around bankruptcy. I was victimized. So I'm getting a couple things around victimized. I was victimized by those credit card companies, from those investors, from those creditors, uh, from um, other people that wanted something from me. They tr- they took they took part of me. They took part of uh, what I had. They took part of my assets. They took part of uh, what was mine. So there's you feeling victimized by others. So we're gonna do it and create the link, 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 create all of that across the time, energy, space, and reality. Good. One more deep breath. And exhale. And then it just still into the energy to see if it's complete for now. Uh, so the other thing that I'm getting around bankruptcy is day one. So again, feeling victimized, feeling that something was taken from you, feeling like you were forced into it and it wasn't the choice or direction that you wanted to take, so you felt somebody won because they dominated or suppressed you or manipulated the situation. So we're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create all of this across the time and space and reality in that direction of time. Okay, one more deep breath. Okay. So let's look at the 
divorce. So when I hear when I say the word divorce, I hear a lot of yelling, and the spouse is yelling, the attorney's yelling, the kids yelling, a lot of drama, a lot of charge, a lot of anger around divorce, uh, and again, both parties feeling victimized. He, she, they, them. There's a lot of dark, heavy energy around divorce, and the idea of divorce, the feeling of divorce. The circumstances of divorce. We're going to create, we're going to create, we're going to create. We're going to lift all of that dark energy, all that anger, all that blame, all that fault, all that resentment. And uh, so I'm getting also now. Uh, so the higher self of the group is holding the heart space, and is again feeling victimized. But even going further than that, feeling hurt, like this is not what I wanted, and it was thrown on me. It was, uh, you know, the other person was the one that wanted this. And there's an element of being shocked by this. I was shocked when this happened. And then I was shocked by the, the way it unraveled. I was shocked by the situation. I was shocked that I would ever be divorced. I was shocked that this is my life. And so, so that shock factor, we're going to delete and create that shock feeling, shock feeling, shock feeling, shock. Because that also creates you being frozen in time, and it also creates you staying in victim, like, woe is me. I didn't expect this. It's not the life that I wanted to live. So it feels like you're not moving forward and you're not moving back. So your life is not moving forward and making a lot of progress in terms of creating more for yourself. And you're doing great, doing great, doing great, doing great. So lay down, create, lay down, create. So now I'm getting, I never asked for this. This is not what I thought uh, marriage would be. This is not what I thought divorce would be. Uh, and a lot of fear around being alone. And being alone and managing, managing how am I going to survive financially, uh, and especially for those that have kids, we're going to do and create, do and create, do and create, do and create, do and create. All the entanglement around divorce, all the fears, all the insecurities, all the doubt. So the way it's showing up, it's showing up like this spiral staircase. There's a post in the middle, like this fireman post, and then the staircase wraps around. And it's going up into the sky and it um, disappears into the clouds. So the entanglement of the divorce is that spiral staircase. And as we're uncreating, it's, it's disappearing beginning from the top. I'm sorry, from the bottom. So from the bottom it's coming up and disappearing into the clouds. So deleting, 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 uncreating. All this entanglement, all this feeling... Whoa, it's me, how could this happen to me? All this feeling of, uh, I wasn't expecting this. I didn't know how to handle this. I was the victim in this. What did I do wrong? Why me? You're, and then the, the feeling of your life falling apart, your structure falling apart and feeling lonely feeling hopeless and helpless. We're going to do it and create, do it and create, do it and create, do it and create, do it and create. And I hear a lot of crying, uh, a lot of sadness around divorce. We're going to transmute all of that loneliness, all of that sadness around divorce. We're going to create, do it and 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 create. So we're going to create all of that energy around feeling alone. And now as we're Transmitting all that energy of loneliness and sadness, what is right after that is, will I ever find anyone? Will I find somebody that would match me? Will I find somebody that will be better than the last relationship I was in that would complement me, that would support me? And then, as I hear that, then it switches over to, what if it was my fault? What if I was the one? What if I was the one that created that? And that's why he or she left me. So we're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. I'm the failure. So delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. So delete and create, delete and create. I deserve this. 
everything that's happened, I deserve it. It's my fault. To live and create, to live and create, to live and create, to live and create, to live and create. To live and create all of that across the time, dimension, space, and reality. Take a deep breath and exhale as we let go. And then I hear financial ruin. Divorce is financial ruin. Divorce takes everything from me. It took everything from me. I, I'm now at ground zero. How will I ever survive? He took everything from me. She took everything from me. He, she didn't even deserve it. So we're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. I did all the work. I was the one that provided. I gave him the best years of my life. I gave her the best years of my life to live and create, 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 to live and create it all across the time, dimension, space, and reality. One more deep breath and exhale. Let's see how you're doing with letting go of all of those energies, releasing shock, trauma, victim, victimization, hopeless, helpless, and shame. So I'm still feeling blame. It's their fault. They took the best of me. They took the best part of me. They left me with nothing. So we're going to delete and create that knowing that we are the creators of our lives. We choose and we have chosen up until now everything that's happened in our life. We've chose our experience for our learning, our expansion, for our growth. And the way we prevent or we stop going back and creating the same patterns is by looking at our lesson in those experiences, not from blaming ourselves, not from blaming others. We start with forgiveness. We start by letting go. We start by being kind and loving toward ourselves, allowing ourselves to be free, free from all those emotions that anchor us into those blocks, those old stories, those old, old belief systems. So take a deep breath and exhale. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself for making those choices, for overspending, for not being good with money, for buying things that I didn't need, for throwing money away, for giving money away when I when I could have put it to a better use. For feeling unworthy and rejecting money. For feeling unworthy and finding ways to get rid of money. For feeling unworthy and shutting money out. For feeling unworthy or feeling guilt that I had more and others didn't and giving it away. We're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. I forgive myself for filing bankruptcy. I forgive myself for coming to that space, that place where all my finances became overwhelming and bankruptcy was the only option I had. I forgive myself for feeling guilt, feeling shame, being resentful toward myself for making this decision. I forgive myself for judging myself for doing this. I forgive myself for punishing myself because I felt I wasn't good with money. I didn't spend money well. I didn't invest in the right things. I didn't save when I needed to save, and I ended up here. I forgive myself. 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 I forgive myself for creating all those blocks in my energy, for holding on to and creating judgment, criticism, stories 
about myself and all those events because they were merely events. I was the one that created the story around the events. I was the one that created unworthiness, undeservingness, shame. I was the one that chose to feel not enough. I was the one that created the story of the how does the world see me? See me? Will the world judge me? Well, what they say, I was the one that created all of that. I am the creator of my life. I am authoring this story. I forgive myself. 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 Divorce. I forgive myself for being the one that chose that I wanted something different. I forgive myself for not doing my part in this relationship. I forgive myself for choosing to walk out. I forgive myself for choosing to complete this contract, this agreement, this commitment with my partner. I forgive myself for choosing happiness. I forgive myself for feeling like it was my fault and that's why they left me. That's why they chose somebody else. I forgive myself for not feeling good enough and that's why they no longer wanted to be in this relationship. I forgive myself for feeling that I somehow did something wrong. I somehow was not good enough, was defective, was not beautiful enough, was not sexy enough, was not smart enough, was not funny enough or exciting enough. Uh, I forgive myself for all those reasons, for being naive uh, or feeling naive and not knowing the reality or not not seeing the reality and not knowing that I am the creator of my life. I forgive myself and I let this go. I forgive myself and I choose to complete all of these contracts, all of these commitments, all of these oaths and vows with my partner or partner at the time. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself for putting myself first. I forgive myself for choosing to be happy. I forgive myself. So any anything around I'm being selfish, anything around I was selfish, anything around I was self-centered, we're going to delete and then create all of that, all of that, all of that. And we want to move to if I wasn't happy, my partner at the time wasn't happy. If I wasn't happy, there was no way I could make him or her happy. Our, our agreement was complete at the time. If they could not make me happy, then I couldn't settle to be in this relationship because I deserve happiness. They deserve happiness. I deserve more than what I was getting in this relationship. They deserve more than I was giving them in this relationship. And as hard as it seems, as entangled as it seems, it was in the highest good of all so that we can each find our own happiness. To lean and create, 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 to lean and create. To lean and create anything else around divorce, anything else around the blame, the game, the the guilt around divorce. Anything else around? I didn't get what I deserve. I didn't get what was I was entitled to. 
ending around. Uh, so what I'm getting is that as the divorce is completed, the other partner or the other person receives more in terms of assets, in terms of wealth, in terms of money, in terms of benefits from the divorce. And there's a feeling of, again, I didn't win. I got the short end of the stick. I was taken. What I had was taken from me. I'm angry about it. So we're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create all of that energy. To let it create it all across the time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, very good. Go ahead and take a deep breath and exhale. So the next energy that is coming in is business failure and then financial failure in general. So that's related to investments. Uh, it's related to, um, see, there's something else. Uh, it's still related to your business or how you invested in your business or business ventures. And, and then attached to that is financial hardship. And the financial hardship is attached to that, but also to your individual, um, yeah, I don't have enough resources coming in, so I'm feeling I'm in a financial hardship. Okay, so let's allow all those energies to come up, all those belief systems, all those blocks around business failure, around financial failure, around financial hardship, and allow all of those energies to come up to the surface, to be released. So I'm I'm feeling anger around those energies. And the anger is, uh, I put so much energy into it, I put so much hard work into it, and it still didn't work out. What is wrong with me? I put so much energy and so much effort into creating something that didn't work out. Why does it, you know, why do uh, these things happen to me? Uh, And then the other side of that is, great things don't happen to me. I put so much effort, and I'm still not valued. So this is you having a a job working for somebody else, and they're not being valued. I put so much hard work. I put so much effort, and I'm still not valued. What else do they want from me? So uh, feeling victimized, overextending yourself, overinvesting yourself, and feeling victimized. We're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create all of that energy. And then there's another energy coming up uh, of having invested in, in multiple different businesses or different um, different ventures and none of them being successful, but the feeling is that you're not focusing one or you're not focusing any. So your energy is kind of all over the place. So the energy is confused about what you really want. So therefore, it's just kind of bouncing back and forth and your business are not going well. And for you, there's a frustration because you feel like I'm doing everything I can. I'm trying to do different things and nothing's working. But it's not working because it feels like you're doing it out of desperation or out of the next best thing that's coming up or out of the you know the next trend or out of like this is working for somebody else or seems to be really su- successful. Let me try that. Uh, so instead of connecting and tuning into yourself and asking yourself, what really makes me happy? What am I really passionate about? And let's go for it. So we're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. All of those frequencies. All of those low vibrations. All of those blocks that are there for you. We're going to remove all those roots. And it feels like now all those roots of this big tree that should be your money tree, but instead has been a tree that's been dying, a tree that's been needing to be watered or to be seeded. This tree feels like it's already dead, so we're going to uproot it and plant a new tree. So we're going to delete, 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 delete. Bring all those roots up around financial failure, financial hardship, business failure, 
career failure, job failure, being undervalued, not being valued, not being noticed, not being recognized for your value, for your contributions. And then um, it's taking me back, so there's a branch extending out to the, all these areas that we've already covered, debt, bankruptcy, divorce. And then the other one that we haven't mentioned is foreclosure. Sorry, delete, delete, delete. Um, and then it's repo. The other one that just came up is repo. So everywhere related to all your finances, where you weren't able to pay and it was taken from you, where you weren't able to keep up with it and it was taken from you or or it went down and you had to close it. Anywhere uh, where you invested and something happened and you couldn't keep up with it, you couldn't manage uh, the expense and you either had to give it away, close it up, or it was taken, we're going to uproot all of that from your tree that is no longer viable this tree just kept all of these blocks rooted in you, in your energy. And it's really asking to come up because it doesn't feel like it's going to flourish anymore. So this tree is ready to come up. Uh, so the top of the tree, all the branches are dead. And then when I go down to the root, again, the root is dead. Uh, so we're going to be very kind to you and to Mother Earth as we're going to uproot this tree and we're going to plant a new tree there. <sighs> This tree, I'm feeling from some of you, the sort of the pain of uprooting the tree and the tree dying. Uh, so just know that the tree is a representation of you not loving yourself, you not nourishing yourself, you not watering, not blessing, not being grateful for you, you not embracing who you are and accepting yourself. Uh, and that water that this tree needed, all that love that the tree needed was all the love that you forgot, you put aside, you, you put for, you set aside for later. All that attention, all that love, all that self-acceptance, self-assurance, all that you know, self-embrace, all that nurturing that you forgot to give to yourself was what what the tree was missing, your tree, it's not your tree of life, it's your money tree. And they asked me to make that clarification for you. So we're going to upgrade it. Okay, so the tree is now laying on the floor, and as we lay it on the floor, and we uprooted and lay it on the floor or on the ground, it kind of disintegrates into ash, or, you know, it's already rotten, so it's just disintegrating into nothingness and, and it's blowing away into the wind. And right next to it, I see a pod and, you know, this tree that it wants to be planted. So we're going to bring that tree planted in the same place, the same location. And it's actually, it's really nice. As soon as we bring it in, and lower it in, the, the roots break through that um, what appeared to be you know, that cloth or um, plastic um, that is wrapping the roots so it doesn't get dry. The roots broke through that and started growing into connecting to Mother Earth, ready to support you, ready to gift you. So this is now important for you to remember to love yourself, to accept yourself, to be kind to yourself, to be forgiving toward yourself, to release judgment, to release criticism, to release anything else or any other way that you punish yourself, that you sabotage yourself. Your tree is brand new. You need to water it. You need to nurture it. Give it love. So bring your hands to your heart and say, I love myself. I love myself. I am that money tree. I am love. I am light. I am the flow of abundance. I am in my flow of abundance. I am the energy of abundance. 
I am the energy of love. I am the energy of prosperity. I am the energy of money. Money is energy. I am energy. Money is already within me as I activate it now. Abundance, wealth, is already within me as I activate it now. Prosperity is who I am. I am love. I am light. I am divine love. I am that I am. I am in the moment of now, past, present, and future. I am divine love. I am divine love. I am the God spark within. I am the goddess within. I am the true essence. I am divinity. I am love. I am whole. I am complete. I am completely aligned with my higher self. I am completely aligned with my divinity. I am completely aligned with my true essence. My true essence is radiant, loving, kind, compassionate. My true essence is love. My true essence is abundance. My true essence is joy. My true essence is prosperity. I am the embodiment of prosperity. I am the embodiment of abundance. I am the embodiment of wealth. I am this I am. So I see the money tree beautifully getting itself rooted into the ground and already growing. So it's a a baby tree, but I see the beautiful leaves out into a nice green, round top that has beautiful leaves, beautiful branches, very full, very green, very lush. It's about, it comes, uh, it's as high as your temple. So for each of you, Actually, for a few of you, it's a little shorter than that, but for the majority of you, it's as high as your temple. So see your tree. Nurture your tree. Love your tree. Water it with love, with kindness, with gratitude. Very good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. So now the direction that this energy is taking me is in in transmuting all the hidden agendas, all the hidden benefits, all the ways that you've been sabotaging yourself by honoring your lineage, your ancestors, your family, by taking on their suffering, their sacrifice, their servitude, their hard work, their hardship, their indebtedness, their poverty. So we're going to bring all of those contracts, all of the ways you honor your family, your tribe, your lineage, your ancestors, by carrying on their suffering, their sacrifice, their poverty, their servitude, their hard work, their hardship, their indebtedness, their not enough their unworthiness, their undeserving, their pride. Okay, so that's okay. Their their pride in hard work, their pride in I have to feel good about it in order for me to feel good about receiving it. I have to feel good about the effort I put into it in order for me to feel good for it to show up in my life. So all of that... Uh, and then there's this other um, hidden belief um, attached to pride is that I want significance. I want to be validated by people around me so that they know he's a hard worker, she's a hard worker. And then I get, and that's the only way I want to receive money. 
when I get that validation, when I have that significance. So we're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create. All that hard work you create, all those ways you create hard work around yourself, all those ways you create hardship, all those ways you create struggle, all those ways you create challenges in your life, all those ways you seek significance and validation by creating obstacles, by creating blocks in your life. We're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create. Delete and create all of that across the time, dimension, space, and reality. One more deep breath and exhale. So I have a stack of poverty contracts that your guides brought up. I have a, a shorter stack that is indebtedness. Uh, another stack that is almost the same height of, of indebtedness that is servitude. And then I have struggle, hard work, hardship. They all seem to be one pile. And that is almost as high as the very first, uh, the very first pile. And then, so right in the middle of all those piles, I get poverty again. And in poverty, and all forms of poverty, um, so it's not just attached to financial poverty, but uh, in your own happiness, feeling free, uh, and feeling the joy about being you, uh, feeling poverty. So, so there's poverty and there's abundant. I feel abundant because I have so much love in my life. I feel abundant because I have a beautiful family. I feel abundant because I have loving friends, supportive friends. I feel abundant because I have an amazing career. I feel abundant because money shows up from all sources. So as you can see, there's different parts of abundance. So now these, this poverty in all areas, uh, this stack uh, is humongous. So when I look up, uh, I'm standing in front of it and I look up, Again, it goes up into the sky, and they lose it into the clouds. So these poverty contracts are not just yours. They're also part of your immediate family, your parents, your grandparents, your ancestors. And then I'm getting timelines from your timelines, all realities, all dimensions, all lifetimes. Okay, so as as I brought in all lifetimes, that pile just got bigger. Okay. So we're bringing up all these contracts where we chose poverty, where we were succumbed to poverty, where we were forced into poverty, where we chose um, a career maybe a, a religious career or a spiritual career or a career of service and contribution and re- either rejected or did not accept or thought abundance I wasn't a part of or didn't fit into. Um, and there was a lot of confusion around that um, way, you know, uh, if you look back into uh, your past lives and into the times of, uh, you know, persecutions um, and where there was very strong religious hold on culture and really humanity. The religious structure, church structure, created a lot of that as well. And so connecting money to greed, connecting money to being a bad person, connecting money to being evil or being the devil, connecting money, wealth, uh, to being bad, uh, being in the dark, uh, and everything around that. So as I'm saying that, I can see many of your past lives there uh, where you were thrown into that side or you were placed in that side or you categorized there, categorized there, uh, or, or you... Um, took on that role uh, in the spiritual calling or being in service and and then chose that because you wanted to be good, be connected to the divine and felt that money was tainted. 
wealth was tainted or wealth and money tainted people. So we're going to delete and create, delete and create, delete and create all the confusion around money. Money is love. Money is loving. Money is a blessing. It's not money that creates all of that. It's the ego, the mind that creates all of that. Money doesn't create darkness. It doesn't create evil. It doesn't create whatever other term you want to use for something that is unloving, unkind, uh, un, uh, it, not compassionate. Uh, it's not money. It's the mind of the individual, the ego that is, you know, that is fear-based, uh, that acts out of fear. So it goes into control, goes into greed, goes into manipulation, goes into suppressing others, goes into controlling others, goes into taking advantage of others in order to feel secure and safe. It's not money. It's the ego. So we're going to delete and create, 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 delete and create the belief systems. And now we're going to complete all those contracts that are waiting to be completed. And your God team, is, uh, they're actually you know, going through all your contracts. So I can see them picking one up and then it goes in one pile. Another one goes in a different pile. So they're sorting them out. Contracts that are to be completed, contracts that are still, you're still working on, contracts that are no longer serving you. So your God team is working with you now. So as your God team, you know, anything that you're working on, I'm ready to let go of this. I'm ready to let go of going day by day. I'm ready to let go of uh, of being unemployed. I'm ready to let go of money not coming in consistently and persistently, overflowing into my account. I'm I'm ready to let go of not being in the right career. I'm I'm ready to let go of not uh, living my passion. I'm ready to let go of feeling that I'm not living up to my potential. I'm, I'm ready to let go of not creating what I want in this life. I'm ready to let go of the fear that keeps me stuck from stepping into my greatness. I'm, I'm ready to let go of all those doubts, all those insecurities that keep me from living the life that I deserve. As the God team, as they're uh, very vigorously uh, starting to all your contracts and completing whatever is ready to be completed in your highest good. And as you're asking them, as you're asking them, help me with this thing that I'm working on right now, this project, this this thing that I've been dealing with, this thing that it seems to be a thorn in my side, this thing that just keeps coming up, this pattern, this story that I'm living. As you're asking them, feel free to ask for more, not just help me get that out of the way. Yeah. Source, God. Universe, I am light. I am love. I claim my divine gifts. I claim who I am. I claim my lineage to you. I claim that I am my I am presence, that I am divinity, that I am light, that I'm pure consciousness, that I am universe, that I am the reflection in this world of source. I claim that I know my greatness. And as I claim that, I claim that I deserve more than this life that I've been living. I claim that I am worthy of more. And I'm ready to receive it now. I'm ready to allow it to show up in my life now. I'm ready to forgive myself. To let go of all those blocks, all those energies that have been stuck in all my bodies, in all my timelines, in all my realities, in all my dimensions that have kept me from living in my flow, being in alignment with who I am, the light within, being in alignment and activating my wealth and abundance. Wealth and abundance already exist within me. It's not outside me. It's within me. And I'm ready to activate it, to allow it to overflow in my life. God team, guides, angels, my masters, 
all of your light beings that are there for me as my teachers, as my mentors, as my guides. I am ready to receive it now. Show me, guide me, bring it to me. Support me in creating the vision of my life. Support me in living in alignment with who I am. Partner with me so I can fulfill my soul's mission. Serve and contribute in a big way as I live the life that I'm ready to live full of abundance, full of joy, full of gratitude, full of vitality. Support me as I surrender to my soul's mission, as I surrender to live in happiness, to serve, to contribute. I ask that you support me in bringing me all that I deserve and more. Take a deep breath. Exhale. The piles are almost complete. They're almost gone. All the ones that are to be completed are almost gone. There are very few that are still left that are you still working through. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Take another deep breath and exhale. And know that your God team is still there with you. Know that they're ready and willing to listen, willing to support you. And all you have to do is ask. You haven't been asking from a place of alignment, from a place of truth, from a place of knowing that you deserve, that you deserve an amazing life that you deserve to live the vision that you are creating for yourself, to live in harmony, peace, to live and be fulfilled and really live life to its fullest. Um, so I'm hearing your God team say, you haven't been asking. I haven't heard you. And what I hear in between that is that you feel nobody's listening. You felt you've been left alone. You feel you've been abandoned. You feel that you're just saying it out to the air and no one is really there. So it almost feels silly to you to, uh, feel silly for you to ask. But they're listening. And ask, knowing that you deserve it. Ask, knowing that you're worthy of it. Not hopefully, not maybe. Move into the energy of, I love myself. I deserve an amazing life. I deserve to live a fulfilled life. I am worthy of receiving all that I am asking for. I am worthy of this and more. And feel into your heart. Feel into how much do I love myself? How much, how generous am I being with myself? How generous do I want to be with myself? Because every time you're, ask, every time you're asking for something, you're being generous toward yourself. You're giving it to yourself. You're asking for that to be given to you. And that is okay. It's more than okay. Because there's a part of you that believes that you cannot ask. You're not allowed to ask. You don't have permission to ask. You don't deserve to ask. 
you're unworthy of asking. Delete and then create that part. Delete and then create everywhere you feel unworthy, everywhere you feel you don't have permission, everywhere you feel that you're not good enough, everywhere you feel that you haven't done anything miraculous or amazing or, you know, so magnificent that you deserve to receive more. Delete and create, delete and create, delete and create, delete and create those belief systems and wherever it came from. Delete and create, 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 delete and create. Very good. Okay. So let me take a look at all of you and see where you are with your money tree. The money tree looks beautiful. Uh, so I don't see names for a few of you, but so so nine zero zero zero. Your money tree is a little bit shorter. It's about um, next the top of it comes to your a little bit above your shoulders, so it comes into your neck. Six six four five. Your money tree is. Uh, it comes up to almost to your armpit, so it's right to the top of your your ribs. Zero four seven one. Your money tree is just a little bit of little bit a little bit above your temple. Forty eight ninety four. For you, your money tree is interesting because it grows and then it shortens, it lengthens. So it comes up like it's stretching, it wants to grow, and it barely touches, you know, your temple. And then it feels like it can't reach in more, it's overstretched and it it springs back down. And when it springs back down it's Right above your knee, so to the to just above your knee, and then it tries to stretch up again and reach up and grow, and then it goes back to about right above your knee. Okay. Zero five eight five. Your money tree. Your money tree is in front of you instead of on the side of you. And the top of it is right aligned with your eyes. And your money tree wants to be loved. So it's your inner self saying, "I want to be loved. I want to be loved and accepted." I want to be nurtured. I want to feel worthy. I want to, I want to grow. And then I, and I see some of its branches coming out and, and stretching out. And it's staying there. It's not coming back down, so that's great. So it's focusing on bringing love, uh, watering it with love. Nine six three five. Your money tree is also in front of you, and the top of it is right to your clavicles, so it's almost to your neck. Good. And for all of you that I didn't mention, your money tree is at your temple or coming up um, above that. So for some of you, your money tree reaches 
uh, higher than that and surpasses your height. So if I didn't mention you, that's where your money tree is. It's as uh, it's at least at your temple or or higher. Take a deep breath and exhale. So we're going to bring in love, bring in divine love, divine abundance, divine wealth, divine money, divine prosperity, and we're going to water your tree, your money tree. So these frequencies as they're coming in, they look like a beautiful frequency of rainbow light. Um, so just imagine, you know, the water flowing like it's coming down from a waterfall, um, but it's coming. It's not rough. It's very gentle. Uh, it's very beautiful, and it's moving, swaying gently side to side as it's coming down, and it has beautiful colors of reds and pinks and purples and greens and oranges. It's very beautiful. And these are the frequencies of divine love, divine abundance, divine prosperity, divine wealth, divine money. This is your divine gift. This is your divine divinity, your divine connection to the oneness. These are, these, this, these are the energies that are part of who you are. And they're being activated, coming down to nourish your money tree. So now what I see is your money tree being superimposed over you. And as the energies are coming down, they're coming in from the top of your head, your crown chakra. And moving in gently, filling up your space as they're filling up and watering your money tree. Good. So we're going to leave these frequencies here as they're integrating down to all levels of you and your money tree, we're going to wrap it in a beautiful bubble of love, divine love, unconditional love. And this bubble also has the energy of acceptance, of receiving, of allowing, of worthiness, of readiness, of willingness. So complete self-acceptance, complete acceptance, complete embrace, complete integration. Very good. So we're going to allow these energies to continue to integrate into your field Embrace yourself, embrace your fullness, embrace your wholeness, embrace your abundance, embrace your wealth, embrace forgiveness. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Make it make it part of your everyday practice. Whenever you're feeling angry, I forgive myself. Resentment, I forgive myself. Guilt, I forgive myself. Shame, I forgive myself. A sadness, I forgive myself. Wherever, whenever you're feeling anything other than love, joy, and happiness, forgive yourself. Let it go. Or forgive whoever else is involved with that. Okay, so I hear from your guides we are done. So they are done with all the contracts that were to be completed today from all lifetimes, your ancestors, your lineage, your bloodline, your tribe around poverty, around sacrifice, around struggle, uh, around hardship, around servitude. Okay, I heard done again. Very good. Go ahead and take another deep breath. As we exhale, we're going to bring our hands to our heart. And we're going to move into gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you to our guides. Thank you to uh, our angels, archangels, our God team, our masters, our mentors. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for facilitating, facilitating this clearing and healing process. Thank you for supporting us in creating sacred space. Thank you for taking care of all of that that is no longer serving us. Thank you for taking care of all of that which is no longer in our highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I release it all. I let it go. I claim my divine gifts. I claim my divine inheritance. I claim happiness. I claim joy. I claim fulfillment. I claim abundance. I claim prosperity. I claim vitality. I claim my divine inheritance. I claim my divine gifts. I claim my lineage to God, to the universe, to source, to the light within me. I am, I am, I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. Thank you for co-creating, for bringing in your energy, for allowing this clearing to take place, for freeing yourself and your family, your lineage from all of these contracts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to being with you again next Monday. Have an amazing evening. Many blessings. Namaste.